Bo said that there was a heavy debate in the room. Really? Throughout the morning, the debate was incredibly heavy every time they went around the room to get to this final point. Paul, sorry to interrupt. So back to that point of Alabama. They would get a gift if they put them in the Sugar Bowl against Michigan. Oh, you, yeah, and, and I, I, I've covered 20 20- some odd sugar bowls uh, over the years, many with Alabama, and uh, you have no idea how Alabama fans w- would be there. I'm not saying they would they wouldn't be in Pasadena. They will be, but just not to the to to the degree. And uh, I don't know how the ticket allotment works, but but it, it would be a t- it would be a tremendous disadvantage for Michigan. I, I'm 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 a you know, By the way, almost any other school in the Big Ten, you would expect them to follow tradition. Michigan's always a little bit weird, but uh, but but the game the game will be in the Rose Bowl. Yeah, so Michigan will get the opportunity to play in the Rose Bowl against Alabama. That has been set. Yeah, Rose Bowl, Michigan, Sugar Bowl, Washington, and Texas. And I mean, even if you look at the metrics coming in, strength is because the one thing that's going to come up, and it'll come up throughout the day. It'll come up about to do some TV here in the next few minutes. Dan Mullen and RG three on the selection show. RG3 is going to be pounding, win the games, win the games, are 13-0. and But fact of the matter is, all undefeateds aren't created equal. No. Schedule, Florida State was 55th. Alabama, I think, strength of schedule was five. I mean, just it's it's going to be – this is it, – look, it's going to be contentious for the next 24 hours. But I think ultimately, Paul, when you look at the four ranked teams that got in the college football playoff, Michigan's been dominant. They haven't – looked great in the past couple of weeks, but they've been dominant. The offense is okay. Alabama's played their way in. I thought they were still a little low at eighth, which I think is where a lot of people have the issue. You're not going to argue Washington. I don't think you can argue Texas. Man, let me give you one more thing to think about. The SEC probably cost Florida State uh, a berth two different ways. They cost them a berth through Alabama beating Georgia. They also cost them a berth through Florida being so mediocre and LSU having another semi-off year. If LSU had beaten Ole Miss, uh, yeah. they would have had a much higher standing. They probably would have been a top-10 team. If Florida had not uh, just been a disaster this year, and, and they go in there and beat a like Dan Mullen, a couple of his school uh, teams, uh, a 9- or 10-win team, uh, we, this is a completely different conversation uh, yeah, like- without uh, Jordan Travis. Now, if you're looking at who, because here's the thing. Well, who'd they beat? Who'd they beat? Well, at the end of the day, LSU, good three-loss team. Fifth best team in the SEC. Right. Clemson, four-loss team. Like, th- that's that's yeah. it. Now, yeah. the, By the way, and Clemson cost them, too. Yeah. And, and Louisville last night, I get it. Louisville's 10-2 and two, ACC championship, so a two-loss Louisville team. But stack those three wins up against whatever Texas was able to do and whatever Alabama was able to do. I just don't – the undefeated thing to me, the, the, like, you could be, could be talking about liberty. It doesn't matter. It shouldn't. Yeah, and I'm, I'm just I, – I'm not going to go off on you, on guys you're about to be on TV with. Um, but I've had to sit through two or three different conversations with two of those guys already today, and 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 I just don't understand it. But, again, it doesn't matter. Uh, all this debate is, is really meaningless at this point, Matt, because the decision's been made. And, you know, I've thrown up a lot of – wild theories here because we're just trying to get to the bottom of it and all these things cumulatively do matt make a difference you don't know which guy or 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 woman in that room going back to one of my earlier points was was really turned off And, and and i mean seriously turned off by what florida state did i think in the end off the field matters by florida state helped do them in in spite of their record on the field and here we have it the final four team playoff format it's going to be one talked about for quite some time but at the end of the day who's not excited for the rose bowl with michigan and alabama and the sugar bowl between washington and texas what a day it's been in college football what a season it's been in college football paul and i will be here with you uh, throughout the process we'll lead you up to the cfp semifinals we'll talk to you about the national championship and everything in between but here we have it the four team playoff is set paul what a journey it's been it's been, Matt, thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, this has been one of the more uh, enjoyable things we've, we've done this entire football season. And I, 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 we're not done yet, but thanks to all the folks who, who I had a guy text me at one o'clock in the mornings. What time will you and will you and Matt be on tomorrow? I go, <laughs> I don't know, but we'll be on. We'll be on. We'll give you our thoughts every Sunday because we love the sport so much. 
For Paul Feinbaum, I'm Matt Barry. We're now going to go to our television jobs, but this is the ESPN College Football YouTube channel. Instant rankings reaction is the College Football Playoff Committee gave us Michigan, Washington, Texas, and Alabama. Give me something I can't